AI, ChatGPT, if your feeds are anything like mine, you've heard those words too many times lately. Everyone seems to be going AI. So over the past week, I have signed up for, paid for, and used a variety of AI tools, some of the most recommended ones. In this video, I'm going to share with you the two that surprised me the most, like they exceeded my expectations. Maybe you can use these in your business as well. We're going to be covering simple to very complex tasks with AI. For example, you might want to generate, enhance, or even uncrop images or you might want to take that like really good piece of content you created but it's in terrible video quality and transform it to basically 4k and audio is actually more important than video so we'll cover how to do the same for audio and although this one sounds a bit boring it's insane I'll show you how you can use AI to turn your meetings or interviews or anything you record into a searchable transcript with insane analysis features please do smash like for me. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Join us for more like this. But let's start with the first one here. That is neural love. There's a lot of options here, but we're going to begin with video enhancement. And I'm just going to upload a Zoom interview I did a while back. We're going to try upscale to 4K with this tool. There's also other enhancements like changing frame rates that you can apply. But to render a preview, we actually need six credits here. You also do get five free credits, which you can try today. That will give you five images, but no video enhancement. So you can pay as you go for 19 euros. And that's what I'm going to do today. And then down here, we're going to render a preview for six credits. Then we can click to watch the preview. But before that, here is the video before. So this is the quality of the Zoom interview just on my PC. And here is afterwards. So this is what it processed the video up to. And it's actually very significant here. If we put them side by side, you can see there's a massive difference. It almost looks like a different camera was used. Production line, make sure everything's good. Personally, I was very surprised by how well it did this. So if you need to upscale video, I think you found your tool. So that's video enhancement. There's also an AI art generator. So we're going to put in Super Saiyan Mandalorian, and it's going to actually process an image from that input. It gives you four previews here. You can see it kind of pulling those two concepts together. But we can also enhance or uncrop. So you can see the heads cropped off. We can use this uncrop feature, which is actually out painting. And you can even do this for your own photos. But if we process this, when we pull this back, it actually adds to the image. So it's no longer cropped. Of course, you can download these at any point. But let's say you like this image and you want to make it a widescreen background. You can click enhance image and then use convert to horizontal image. And we can process this. Once again, we can pull this back and it's widened the image for that use case. Lastly, let's say you have an image you love, but it's just really grainy or bad quality. This could even be a photo and you want to upscale that. Then on your image, click enhance. Here you can increase the quality 4x and we're going to process this. So here is the image before and you can see as we zoom in, there are some jagged edges here. And here is after it has been processed. You can see way more clear. What's going on over here? You can make an AI avatar. So you upload a couple images of yourself and then it will create an avatar. Audio enhance, which we'll come back to and restore portrait like an old photo into color. But audio enhancement, here you can boost audio sample rates up to 48 kilohertz. So you may just want to enhance voice like you've done an interview or a lesson, something you've recorded, or you can remove vocals, maybe doing like nature or ambient work and want to remove those sounds. Now I'm going to do this for a recorded Zoom interview, but where my guest's sound wasn't the best. It was almost like it sounds like it's clipping. You're here in a moment. So let me play a bit of that for you. Yeah, we would like to see more, uh, you know, entrepreneurs in the world uh, and we would like to lower the barriers. So now we're going to enhance this audio. You have two real ways to do this. You can use the default, which I'm going to choose here, or you can remove all background noises, which is a bit more aggressive. We'll go with default and render a preview. I'm going to process full audio here and let's take a listen. Yeah, we would like to see more, uh, you know, entrepreneurs in the world. Yeah, we would like to see more, uh, you know, entrepreneurs in the world. Uh, and we would like to lower the barriers uh, and we would like to lower the barriers. And so you can hear it's kind of just smooth the edges of that. So it's not so sharp. Then down the side here, it does have all of these other tools. If you want to pause this pricing here, you have a sliding scale where you can choose credits. But again, you have a free plan here. So you can go use this five credits that gives you five images, but no video enhancement. Can have a subscription 10 euros a month, 100 credits a month. 
or pay as you go, which is just going to give you 100 credits, which you can use whenever you want. So it really depends on your use case and how often you want to use this tool. But I'll link it below. And that brings us to the next one. This is fireflies.ai. This is about recording and transcribing your meetings. But what you can actually do with this is insanely powerful. On this page, you can get started for free. Then you're going to want to link your calendar. This is how it finds all of your meetings. Then you can choose how Fireflies actually joins your meeting. So you can join all of them or you can actually choose to invite it to only a few. Secondly, you can choose who recaps are sent to. It could just be you or it could be your whole team. We get a seven day free trial with this one. You do have to drop in your card details, but let's start a free trial. Another interesting point, Fireflies joins just like any meeting participant. So that means you can also kick Fireflies from any meeting. This is our dashboard here. Of course, we have no meetings in here yet, but generally what it would do is it would be with you in your Zoom meetings with your team or with prospects or in interviews, whatever it is you do. And it is literally recording and transcribing that meeting. But just to show you exactly what it would do in your meetings, I'm going to upload a Zoom meeting here. So in my meetings, I'm simply going to click upload here and upload that Zoom meeting. It's about 360 megabytes. So this is a big recording. It's actually an hour meeting and uploading that took about eight minutes. But once it's up here, we can click on it. And in here is where the magic happens. And you can see it has transcribed that meeting with speaker one being myself, speaker two being my guest. And as the meeting progresses, it's going to highlight the corresponding text. That way you always know where in the script you are. So if we play a bit of this, you know what Marvly actually can do for them. Yeah, definitely. Thanks so much for having me on, Dan. So you can see myself and my guest and it's highlighting as it goes. We've got speaker one, two and three. Now two and three are actually the same individual. It's my guest. It's only myself and him. So on speaker three, we can click apply to all speaker three areas here and click speaker two. So now we only have speaker one myself and speaker two my guest. And really cool here is you can actually see talk time. So my guest 66% talk time myself 34%. So if you have a tendency to talk too much as an interviewer, this will help you. Also here we can click any of these like dates and times. It's going to pull dates and times out of the script for you or metrics or in my opinion, the most valuable questions It pulls the questions out. This could make for great timestamps or training other interviewers. Then here we can also look at positive, neutral and negative sentiment. And it's going to pick up statements that were either of those, which again, I think is really valuable because it could tell you if you're being very negative in meetings. Maybe you want to know the sentiment of a prospect that you just had a meeting with. There are a lot of use cases here and I think it is surprisingly helpful in terms of the features they've added. Then below the video here, you can also see a full meeting summary. So when I've worked with clients, very often they have someone actually recording and typing the whole meeting. This does it for you. So this makes it super easy for you to share it with your team, for example. Another cool quirk here is that you can capture sound bites. So let's say we find an interesting part like this. Then I can click on sound bites, click create sound bite. Then I'm just going to select that piece and name it and create. What is the weirdest error you found in an order which has led to uh, an order failing? Oh, you know, the weirdest thing actually. And there we go. We have a little sound bite. If you do want to watch that interview, by the way, I'll link it up here. Of course, at the very bottom here, you can download. So you can download audio, video, all that full transcript. And there are some great use cases for the transcript. Maybe you just want it for your records or sharing with your team. But depending on the content you do, you might want it for a blog or even to input to tools where you're creating captions or subtitles for a video. And that's often what you do on YouTube. So let's try upload a YouTube video here. You can see this has a max of 1.5 gigabytes. My videos are usually pretty large because it's all done in 4K. So just keep that in mind. You're not going to be able to upload above that limit, but I'm going to upload this one instead. This is about half a gig. Another note is that we can upload a .mov as I've done here. But as you'll see, the video doesn't show above that text box. So you can see no video there, but I now have my full chat GPT YouTube video script. And people who watched this video said, please, can you give us the questions that you actually asked chat GPT during that video? So now what I can do is click questions and I can just download all of these questions, exactly the questions I asked chat GPT. So I'm going to be dropping that below that video. And I'll also add that one to the cards up here. 
There's also Ask Fred. This is a chat GPT add-on for these meetings. But basically, you're able to ask Fred about what happened in your meeting. Like, how many licenses did the prospect want to buy? And it's able to go and gather all of that data for you. But it's an add-on, so you can assess whether that add-on is worth it. Then on pricing, we've got monthly options and annual. I think the savings on the annual one makes sense here because this is not really a tool you're going to use once off. This is something you use consistently. The pro plan, $10 a month. This one is going to be good for most individuals, but you don't get the video recording. Whereas the business one, that's going to give you everything, including the video recording. Overall though, I do think this one is very well priced. So again, I'll drop a link to this one below this video. But those are just two that I really enjoyed using during all of this research. There are other ones. There's another one which allows you to build your own AI robot to scrape pretty much anything online, which is extremely powerful as well. But I would love to hear from you below in a comment if you'd like to see more videos like this, such as that one. Also, which of these two tools did you like the most and why? But I want to thank you so much for watching. Please drop a like if you did enjoy or gain value from this video. Consider subscribing if you do want to see more like this. But I hope you're more clued up on how you can use these AI tools in your business. And I will catch you in the next video.